Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'm going to try and create another deconstructed landscape. I have the vision in my head. I want clouds and sea, more of a contrast than the last painting. And I want more sky than sea. And I want more clouds that like kind of look like clouds. And looks all like windswept, like shh. <laughs> that's my plan like kind of like this like whoosh, sound effects and everything so wish me luck let me get you down um i'm gonna go again i only have a little bit of paint so this one might be do or die if not I, you know you'll never know and i'll have to go paint shopping again so we're just gonna leave this here it has um a decent amount of paint on it I don't have my spinner, my big one. It's at home being depaintified. Like I'm scraping off all the old paint and want to give it a sand before I cover it up with um, some exterior painter's tape and kind of make it waterproof or paintproof. So this is on a cake spinner, which is already like kind of risky to do because if you push too hard to spin, then it's off kilter. So kind of got to be careful some colors in here that are just beautiful so this this blue here this is cerulean blue hue so i'm gonna put down a bunch of cerulean blue hue deep or uh, it's the dark blue version and then we have some what is this lucas crystal uh in mint so there's mint and then we have some artesa pearl this is chartreuse I like that a lot and then what else do we have some mermaid this little piggy so a little sparkle so two orange sparkles and then some metallic or pearl and then a piggy and then for the sky, obviously it has Cunag. And you know how I like to do Cunag and um, my golden um, bright gold. So there's my bright gold, but my new favorite thing. And I swear I'm going to do a painting with just these three colors that I'm just totally have fallen madly in love with. I, I can't talk madly in love with again. This ballet slipper. Like, oh my gosh, just these three. Look at that. Gorgeous ballet slipper. You have my heart for sure. I just dropped a little bit into the sea. And then to tie these two groups together. Um, oh, by the way, too, because these are all warm colors and anything blue, tends to be cool. I try to pick warmer shades of blues and greens, so it's not about it being a, a warm and cool color painting. It just happens that I want water and sky. So if you're gonna take this on, try to make sure that your blues aren't too, too cool. Um, and then we're gonna take uh, Arteza's Pearl Banana Yellow, and that's gonna be like our unifying color like everywhere like this and then a little more over here some in the water and then we're just going to use lamp black as the ca kind of put it right in between the two I'm like off center. That's okay. Uh, and let's give this a blowout. Cool air, high fan. I might be at it for a while. Forewarning you now.
I was buggered by how much CA I left behind. Um, but I think I'll tone into it. And I was also buggered by, I love this. And I'm bummed that it's not on this side. I mean, I got a little bit when I blew that out. But I wanted like these divots. Because I don't want, um, I want the clouds to kind of look whole. Meaning, I want the hard lines to stay on the canvas. I don't want to spin all of that off. So, my hands are already messed. So I'm not going to bother with gloves. Let's cream into this first. Hopefully. Well, first, let's just go, go bring everything over to this one side. And maybe cream into... Oh my God, that's such a cool optical illusion. Oh, I just messed with my eyeballs. Totally. Go over this way. Let me look at that. It freaked out my eyes. I really am like, it's moving. It's like being in um, a parked car in a parking lot of the grocery store and the car next to you goes to move and you feel like you're moving. Like, oh my God, where am I going? I'm not moving. I'm in park. It was one of those moments. I love the um, movement I just gave myself. I just don't like all that black CA, you know, right here. So you know what I'm gonna do, you know it. And even if it's white, I mean, I can paint that later. So I don't care what color it is. I just want the, the black out of there. And in fact, no, we'll leave it for now. Well, that white's a little too white. I want to get a little more out. So I'm going to press all the way down to the canvas this time. That's okay right there. All right, I like the sky movement. I like the water movement. Let's spin this. Exploratory spin. See what it's doing when it opens up. Immediately the one corner of the, the water is done. It's like, yep, I'm over there. I know what you want. Gotcha. I gotcha. And this side is like, I'm not very sure. I don't know where to go. What do I do? So let's help him along a little bit. See this movement right here? I mean, I really don't want to lose it. And this is what I'm talking about, like the top of the clouds. Like if I take those off, like when I'm doing a, just like a large bloom and just leave the edge of the wispies, it wouldn't, they wouldn't look like clouds anymore. Like I want them to have that stormy kind of look. So let's put the weight of the paint over there. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can do this. And hopefully I don't have my head in the way. Just slide things over this way a little bit. Like that. It straightened out the um, clouds, but that's okay. I have to keep peeking underneath my um, spinner to make sure it's centered. So let's hopefully more paint flies off those two sides now. So nice soft spin. Seems like that worked. Just made it a little harder, get rid of it. Three or four spins, three, four, and gone. I'm gonna save some paint, so stop it. Yes, oh, this is turning out. This is matching the vision in my head, y'all. I'm all excited because um, two thirds sky, one third water, which is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, see, I don't want to lose, I don't want these clouds to roll over. No, you don't want to lose those clouds at all. 
and I need to do something. I need to stick a finger in it right there or something because that's too dark right there. I'm not going to try and make a straight horizon line because this just looks like the rolling water, if you know what I mean. And it's got a splash in the middle that I'll touch up with my cerulean blue. Um, I think I just take this little corner off instead of trying to spin and say, see ya, and just take my stick. I have enough left in my can, I think. Just to fill this in and give it a baby spin to make it go flat. Yep, that looks good. Got a couple little bubbles there, a torch, but it's just plain white paint, so that's not going to hurt anything. You, go away. All right, let me wipe off. Yeah, these are dangerous. See, I don't want to spend too much. Those those clouds up there are dangerously close to going overboard, and I, I just don't want them to. I like them just the way they are. I love all the negative space up there. That's hella cool. Um, I am staring at this, and I want to... I'm not going to try and make a horizon line. But I am going to stick my finger. See these little white lines? They will be blue when, when you see the dry results. Because when it's dry, I'll just take one of the colors and just touch them up. Um, but there's just a little bit too much um, darkness right here for me. So I'm just going to keep sticking my finger in it, removing paint. Getting some little... Um, wave lines, etc., until I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to do that. Maybe go sideways this time and take out that black. I need to turn it. Make them all meet up. Stay here. Everybody meet up. You all went different directions. Oh, that looks great. I know it looks weird now because it's white, but it'll look great when it's when it's painted in. So, and it can have a little bit of dark stuff too. That's fine. My other thing I'm staring at is whether or not I take off this little doodad here, that wispy. I think I'll leave it be. And then I'm looking at I'm looking at my clouds. And I wanted them, like I said at the beginning, I wanted them to have some stormy, like, aspects to it. Like, I didn't want it to be all, like, bright and happy, like, morning time. No, I'm like, no, no. The wind's coming in. The gray's coming in. It's getting stormy and cloudy. So, I'm looking at this. I'm wondering, is that too much? Do I put my spoon in it or a palette knife and drag it out a little bit? Or it's actually kind of purple, purple gray um, under there. It's not just black, but I just kind of want to stare at it because, man, I love everything else. Everything else is looking great. I'm going to grab a palette knife. No guts, no glory. I just want them to be lighter. Just be lighter in color. Just gonna let that run down. Does that look stupid? 
And I know some of you thinking, well, why don't you just hit it with the hair dryers? Because I'm, I would mess up the rest of it around it. It's lighter. Maybe it doesn't need to be so big. Yeah, I think I'm going to push in on that. And then have it come out and it can mirror this one line and have some wispies and kind of fade off into nothingness. <gasps> oh, I like that better. I do, I do, I do, I do. Can have a little bit of darkness, has some movement. There's like a hint of an outline there. That's kind of cool. Are you done? Are you done fussing with it before you mess it up? Because I know people are saying, walk away, walk away right now. And I think I am. I think I'm saying, chitta. This one is done. It matches the vision in my head. So I am all happy. I'll be happier to see it, for it to dry so I can touch up the areas I don't like. Like this line, I'm, I'm like, who am I kidding? I don't like it. I don't like this little thing right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, yeah, I don't like you. Let's flip you over. It, it was just going in the wrong direction too. And just, we'll just sprinkle on so much for my clean hands. Some white hair. Part of it can stay gray because there's other parts of it that are gray. Yep, I didn't like it. <laughs> like this is the pickiest I've been in a long time. Like super ultra, super ultra picky pants. Maybe that's the name of this video. Yep, there it is. Cheddar. Boy, that bugs me right now. But it trust the process. Gotta trust the process. That'll look okay. Let me get you down. Hey guys, I'm back with the dry results of this one. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I got a lot of things to match the vision in my head, like wispy sky. Check. Lots of movement in the water, check. Two thirds sky, one third sea, check. Um, I did go ahead and glaze one part. And when I say glaze, all I did was mix up a tiny bit of golden peach, um, this little piggy pigment in a few drops of varnish and got it nice and wet and just took a paintbrush and added a little more color in here. I couldn't do a lot because if you, if it gets too opaque, then you'd cover up all the lacing. So I just added another layer of color just to help mitigate the hard orange line that was there. And I think that worked out um, pretty well. Uh, I got a little splash of water right here in the middle that I painted in and I just used my cerulean blue and some of the uh, mermaid pigment and painted that in. And now I have a cute little splash there. I like that. It's like someone threw a rock in or something. I do like the movement of the water very, very much. And I really like that the um, horizon line is wavy because it gives that water even more movement and it's not just straight across. Uh, I think that looks pretty great too. It's the sky for me on this one though. Um, I do like how the water looks like it's rushing at you too. It really helps give it some depth and uh, definitely going to go again. I feel all inspired and uh, yeah, want to do one or two more. So let me know what you guys think. Let me flip around. All right, guys, that's it for me. I have two quick things to say. Super happy with this one, but I just completed the companion piece. And it's under my table drying. And oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I'm afraid to touch it. I'm not going to pull it out. I'm not going to move it. Must protect it at all costs. 
<laughs> and it's so beautiful. I'm going to premiere it this Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Fingers crossed for good drying, but oh my gosh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. That's one. Two, I'm also super excited because I am less than 5,000 away from 100,000 subscribers, which means I would get my little YouTube plaque and become a certified channel. I don't really know what that does, but it sounds good. <laughs> uh, anyway, my analytics is telling me that 50% of you watch my channel regularly, but aren't subscribed. So please help a girl out, get yourself a free YouTube account. That way you can comment on my videos and tell me that one's great or that one's not so great. <laughs> <laughs> and you can participate in those premieres in the live chat feature and also participate in art auctions as well. So lots of benefits and it's free. So yeah, if you could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. That's all I got today. Treat people with kindness. I'm so excited. Be well and I'll see you on Friday. Peace out guys.